Alright, so this is part two of the bait casting reel. There's two more things that I haven't explained on this. So we got this here, that lever, and or button I guess, and then this here. So this is a spool tensioner. Um, and that only works when you release the spool. So right now the spool is not released. You see there? And when I click this button, it's going to release. And you want to do that so your line comes out freely. All right? So when you go to throw it, you'll every baitcaster reel is going to have one of those, all right? So you have to click it before you throw it cuz once you click it, it just drops, right? So I reel in, I click, and it's free. And right now, it's dropping way too fast for the lure weight. The lure is the weight, the sinker, plus your bait. So if it's too heavy, you need to increase it, tighten this spool tensioner so it drops slower. Dropping slower puts brakes on it. So when you put the brakes on, you throw the weight. It's not going to go as far, really. But with the brakes on, it's less likely to bird's nest. A bird's nest is when you throw it and you don't put the brakes on. You're not using your thumb correctly. And you throw it and it just bird's nest. It looks like a bird's nest. It's all wrapped up tangled takes like 10 minutes sometimes to undo it all right so that's what the spool tensioner is for you have to tighten it when you have a heavy weight on so once it's tight it's supposed to drop slower you want it to drop slow about that slow maybe maybe a little slower maybe like this slow or something but you can't have it really loose or else you will bird's nest all right and that's why most people don't use bait caster reels because they bird nest birds nest <clears throat> and if you have any other questions just put them in the comments and i'll tell you everything you need to know these are the only reels i use for catfishing any big fish i i always use bait casters so um if you want a tutorial on how to throw them i can do that too Anyway, thanks for watching.